My drug of choice is food. A breakfast burrito, eggs, and cheese, and ham, and sausage, and hash browns. I'm gonna eat myself to death. My greatest fear is premature death. I don't wanna be robbed before my life even starts. I just can't keep going like this. Now I'm letting my son get fat too, and that makes me feel bad because I'm the one buying it for him and feeding it to him. If anything happened to her, I just don't know what I'd do. We eat out every meal. I mean, my life is at stake. My son himself, I don't want him repeating me. An average day for lunch, we'll say we'll go to a buffet. I would just eat a sh ton of food. I didn't want to be married to him and have two or three kids and then him die on me. I'm always aware of everything around me that my weight could affect. I break things. I eat like 7,500 calories easy in like a sitting. I just can't keep going like this. How bad do you want this? I want it bad. Let's go! Touch your shirt to the tire. Go. There it is. Touch it. Keep that back nice and straight. Two. Oh. We're here to change our thinking, the way we think about ourselves. There's no way I can do this every day. Oh. You're here to push beyond the limits. Oh. Come on! I'm ready for it. You know, I'm ready. Because I think I've hit my bottom. If I could just do it myself, I would do it. And I just feel like I can't. You wanna get something to eat? Yeah. The convenience of fast food is a big thing with us. We'd like three hot dogs, three nachos. I don't know how to cook. I work 40 plus hours a week. Come on, Sam. Good. And now I'm letting my son get fat too. And that makes me feel bad because I'm the one buying it for him and feeding it to him. I'm eight years old. I'm 150 pounds. I'm the biggest person in my whole class. Unfortunately, my seatbelt does not fit. The seatbelt goes to about right here. I've always been overweight. 150 pounds in fourth, fifth grade, 250 pounds in high school. My stomach's right on the steering wheel, so when you make turns, that can be difficult. My back's hurting, my hips are hurting, my feet are hurting. You get wore out from carrying all of this around. You'll have chest pains and you're thinking, why do I just keep doing the same thing? I was 24 when my dad died. My dad committed suicide. I mean, if you ask me, was it out of the blue? Yeah, it was out of the blue. I didn't. If there were signs there, he didn't let us see them. It's really hard when something like that happens. And anybody who's been through it knows. It's like, blame yourself. You think that he thought you didn't love him, or it's really hard. I don't like to cry about it. I don't want to you know, upset my mom about it. We didn't, we don't talk about it a whole lot. So I kind of would keep it to myself. And, you know, if I got sad about it, go eat me something and I'd feel better. I'm gonna eat myself to death, you know, and end up killing myself in a different way. I just can't keep going like this. I mean, my life is at stake. My son himself, I don't want him repeating me. My name is Chad. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm 27 years old. Enjoy dinner. Thank you. you. Got fried rice? Oh, yes. Lena is the love of my life who I look forward to marrying if she'll say yes. <laughs> his weight, it's going to cause major problems. Lena sent me an email and pretty much blew me away on everything wrong with me. I can't continue loving someone who's killing himself. And if you continue like you are doing, you will die. I can't get myself into something that I know will end in tragedy. You have to do something now about your weight if you want to keep me. I didn't want to be married to him and have two or three kids and then him die on me. My memories of my father growing up were getting beat the crap out of, getting yelled and screamed at, and watching him beat the crap out of my mother. My dad just 
had drug problems, abuse problems, alcohol problems. I think the breaking point was when my father threatened to burn my mother alive in the house. And so we left, you know, so I never really had a father figure. I wanted a father figure, you know. Uh, I remember wanting to be able to find somebody who could kind of just take me under the wing and just help me and kind of define who I am as a man and all that kind of stuff. As I got older, I had no problem joining in to my mother's kind of coping mechanism with food. And so I started putting on weight. My greatest fear is premature death. I don't want to be robbed before my life even starts. I want to see him get a hold of this now. I really do. These are ones that are just too small. You can't fit into them. I remember when I was mortified, I was size 52. Now I'm size 72. An average day, breakfast would be like two sandwiches, big ass thing of like mocha joe, hash browns. For lunch, we'll say we'll go to a pizza buffet, which we'd ask them to make a whole thing of cinnamon rolls. I'd get them to make a special kind of pizza that I like in conjunction with all the other kind of pizza. And I would just eat a ton of food. I just don't want to be and I'm willing to like fight to be able to have a different alive. I'm Sally, Chad. Chad. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. By coming here to Hilton Head Health, Chad and Sally are making the first steps in really transforming their lives. My name is Beverly. Hey, Beverly, I'm Sally. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet Chad. you, Chad. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> For the next six months, we will be teaching them a whole new way to look at the way they eat, and they'll be exercising like they never have before. And Sally, you're going to follow me. OK. OK, we're going to go right we're around this way. OK. They've left the distractions of home behind, and now it's time for them to just focus on themselves. How you doing, Chad? Doing good, how you doing? I'm Adam, nice to meet you. We're gonna get your weight done today. Um, obviously a little nervous. Stepping on the scale, looking my monster in the eye. All right, step up on there. Your starting weight is 509. 500 scared the hell out of me, honestly. And I'm hoping by the time I leave here that I can lose somewhere around 150 pounds. That's the goal. Your BMI, which is your body mass index, we want that number to be between a 19 and 25. <laughs> All right, now you're at 71. All right. OK? I think in order for someone to be successful in our program, they have to be mentally ready to make the change. The emotional is huge. While you're here, it's not just about losing the weight. Right. It's about your mind and really being able to implement everything that you've learned here into mm. your daily life once you leave here. Mm. Hey, Sally, Hi. how are you doing? Good, how are I'm you? Adam, I'm your weight. Okay. So we're going to have you step up on the scale. Four forty-three point four. Whoa. You said whoa. Whoa, yeah. How are you feeling? I just didn't think I weighed that much. My initial weigh-in was 443 and I thought that I was maybe 380, 390. So it was a big slap in the face when I seen that number. You OK? I mean, it sucks, but. That's the highest it's ever going to be, because it's only going down from this point right. onward, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Like Adam said, I'm just never going to see that number on a scale again. Never. Never, never. Have you had this stuff done recently? Or? Not recently. It's been a few years. Are you trying to pick healthy options when you're eating out? No, not really. I mean, if you're going to eat out, what's, I mean. Tell me how you felt when you stepped on the scale. Ugh. Had I seen that at home, I probably would have went and ate something. You know, I didn't expect to see that at all. 
you know, not that I'd gotten on a scale, I just tell myself that I weighed something different, you know? Mm -hmm. Sally's fitness level, she's pretty much starting off at scratch. She didn't do anything in preparation for coming here. I don't think she changed her eating habits one bit. I don't think she tried to work out one bit. Just try to rework my brain to keep moving and not just go sit down or... Mind over matter, huh? Yeah. I'm ready to become the person that I know that I'm supposed to be. So this first week with Chad and Sally is really about establishing a baseline. I'm anxious to see how they're going to fare throughout the classes. I knew it wasn't going to be easy, and it's not. But I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do what I can. Oh, oh my God, it's dead. Uh. I was flailing all over the place. I was really working hard just to keep up. When you have so much weight, you, you don't move as fast. And the demand of that class was to move fast. It totally kicked my <sighs> Before Chad and Sally got here, they were probably doing limited physical activity, and they were eating more than 5,000 calories a day. And so now that they're here at Hilton Head Health, they're going to be consuming between 1,200 to 1,500 calories, which is a major difference. I wonder how much lettuce is. I think lettuce you can pretty much Does have. Does it have much calories? Much. Okay. Not much. <laughs> I'm not used to eating what I don't want to eat. I am a picky eater. I don't want to eat up mushrooms. I don't want to eat onions. And I don't want to eat peppers. Okay. You're hungry and you're like, yay, it's lunch. And then it's like, oh. Uh, how many calories are we eating? I think 250 to 300. It's easy to pick up fast food and kind of get back on your day. I definitely think that I was taking an easier route. My preparation is, hey, I'm leaving work. What do you want me to pick up? You know, and then it's, uh, what do they want me to bring home? <laughs> yeah. When you see what it takes to burn a 1,000 calories. Oh, you're not going to want to eat 2,000, huh? So how much do you burn in a mile? A hundred. A hundred? <laughs> That's <laughs> unbelievable. You look at, you're going to be judging based on how much does it take to get this off. Yeah. Why are we? We're going to pump it up a little. I, no, we're not. I feel like I'm getting so much thrown at me that I'm not able to catch everything. Or you can push it. You can push it. Y'all can do this, all right? You got this. <laughs> all right? So this is going to make it hard out here by your ankles. Oh, my lord. Here's your safe zone. Bring it in towards your thighs, OK? All right. And come down. Oh, you right? say so, brother. You got it, Sally. Yeah. Got it. Get position. Good, Chad. One. Good, Sally. Two. That's all right. That's all right. Three. Get it. Two more. Two more. Two. Oh. All right. All right. Good. Good. My knees have been giving me some trouble just from doing nothing and then doing all of this activity. But I'm hanging in there. I'm working through it. You all right? Good? Yeah. Good morning, Jeff. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. My ultimate goal is to lose 200 pounds while I'm here. And if I can lose eight and a half pounds a week in six months, that's 200 pounds. Go ahead and yes, take the plunge. That's awesome. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm really happy. I've lost nine pounds. It's so rewarding when you see all your hard work pay off. Good morning, Chad. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. How good. are you doing? My goal is definitely to lose a minimum of eight pounds a week. Let's see how we're doing. So my starting weight was 509. Oh, that's so much better than I expected. And I am at 
Four eighty-six and some change. <gasps> Woo! Awesome job. I lost twenty-three pounds in one week. <laughs> Today's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a good day. I'll see you later. The big numbers this week are partly due to excess water weight. Once they've sweated that off, they won't see that kind of weight loss again, which can be discouraging. When someone has as much weight to lose as Chad and Sally, it's not only about changing bad habits, it's getting down to the reason why and the emotional issue surrounding why they put all this weight on. So guys, we're gonna be working out on the elliptical today. Tell me what you're one out of this experience here at Hilton Head Help. I want a new way of life. I'm tired of wasting my life. I've wasted 29 years of being fat and my inside not matching my outside. Good. How proud would your father be of you right now? <sighs> when she can see me when I'm done, I do. I'm really sad that he won't be here. <laughs> your father's gonna be proud of you. And he's watching you. He knows. He knows, Sally. He knows what you're going through. Chad and Sally both have issues with their fathers. So I want for them to have a dialogue around what the missing of their fathers in their lives mean to them. I never had a father to begin with. He was verbally, emotionally abusive. You don't feel a loss at all? No. No loss? I lost out on a horrible father. I lost out on a man who couldn't be a man. You really should rethink that. Why? Because you got to forgive. Oh, I forgive, I just don't. And once they're gone, they're gone. You're never going to get them back. I like Beverly. I think she's great. But she's focusing on my father. And that is not a particular trauma in my life that I feel is connected to my weight. What am I losing out on? He's in denial about it. And until he is ready to resolve those issues, he'll never be able to get through this weight loss journey and get onto his new life. So we're at about the halfway mark. I've been amazed at how much easier it's getting day by day. The shirt I couldn't wear, I couldn't even fit into when I first got here. Let's see how I do, right? OK, last week, 443. OK. I'm thrilled, five pounds. Woo! That's Good awesome. way to start the day. Thank you so <laughs> Get much. Get that class. Appreciate it. <laughs> 71 pounds. It feels good. Before I came, it was 17 years or more since I rode a bike. Now I can get on a bike and ride 10 miles. <laughs> Watch it! <laughs> I've never gone kayaking because, I mean, I know I wouldn't have fit, but after losing the weight that I've lost, I was totally comfortable with going, and that's something me and Sam can do when I get home, you know, as well as biking and paddle boarding, and there's just so many more things now that I'm gonna be able to do that were never options before. Well, last week you were at right at 385.6. I am at an even 80 pounds loss total, which uh, I'm very pleased with. My mom and my son Sam are coming to see me. Today is Sam's ninth birthday. I have, you know, a sign and balloons for Sam and just can't wait for him to see, you know, what I have accomplished while I've been here. Hey, happy birthday. Hey, Mom. It was a fun trip. It's good to see y'all. Hey, you look good. Thank you. So do I look skinnier? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing my mom was the best birthday present I could ever get. She's actually a lot skinnier now than she was before. Not as hard as you did it. 
Before I came here, okay. putt-putt golfing wouldn't have been a typical thing we would have done. Here's your water, Sam. We really didn't do a whole lot of outdoorsy stuff. Ooh, give me five. I would get too tired, just, you know, couldn't do it. Uh, like, no. Sam's only gonna be here for a couple days, but while he's here, I want him to get on the track of healthy eating and kind of get a glimpse into the world that I'm gonna be bringing home to him. You like doing stuff like this? Yeah. Because I'm gonna be able to get out and do do more stuff like this with you now. Sure am. So how you like having a healthy snack and some water instead of? Tastes very good. I feel a lot more energetic than eating junk food. Yeah, good. How you guys doing? This is Chad. Good to see you. This is Sam. This nice is my to meet son, you. Sam. Nice, nice to meet you. Man. And this is my mom, Irene. Nice so nice to meet you. <laughs> Join us for lunch. Oh, busy morning. So my mother's coming into town as well, so that'll be great. I bet you're nice. excited too. Oh, yeah, it'll be great. It'll be nice to see her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is my mother even? Where's my mother? She's, mother, she's coming. Okay. Yeah, she's coming. <laughs> I was very surprised to be able to see Lena. It was the best surprise I could possibly have ever imagined. So how do I look? You are amazing. Awesome. <laughs> no, I, I oh, you. God. oh, you got to feel the muscles. What's this? Oh, yeah. Baby, you are doing I don't know if I've ever seen. Oh, he's so, he's so happy to be here. He's slimmed down in the face. I didn't know what to expect, but I'm very, very happy. So what do you think? Does he look so different? Uh, he does. Like, pretty good? Looking forward to my mom coming. Being an only child with a single mother, we have definitely developed a very close relationship. What's going on, Mom? Got some loose clothes going on. I'll tell you what, come here. Oh, so good to see you. My mother struggles with weight as well, and now it's really taking a toll on her physically. And so it compels me to deal with it now because I see the hardship that she's going through, and I've watched it rob her life enough. This is from That's Grandma. Right. Is this from Grandma? Yes. <laughs> Pictures. I get photos of my childhood. Yeah. <laughs> My mother had brought these two photo albums of me. It was really nice because I don't have hardly any pictures from my childhood. Look at that. Yeah, this is my swagger look. What's up? <laughs> he was always adorable. Beautiful. Look at your dad, see? That's your dad. That's my dad. That was the, when we, the first day we brought him home. Wow. I don't have many memories of my father, but the ones I do were not good. I don't really remember what my dad looked like because it's been so long and he looked different from the image that I had in my head. See, that's how he looked when I was with him. For most of Chad's life, I was a single parent. Do I think that he missed having a dad? Absolutely. But do I believe that it's had a factor in his weight and all that? I truly do not. There's my grandfather, Paul Paul. Looking at these pictures got me thinking about reaching out to my father. I don't know what it'll lead to, maybe nothing, but I might give him a call when I feel ready. As Sally's life coach, I've been working with her on a lot of feelings around why she's eating. And I know one of the main issues is the death of Sally's father, your husband. And Sally mentioned that you guys have really never talked about that. My mom went to the bedroom and found a note that said, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sick, um, I'm behind the shed. And immediately she runs to the shed um, found him in his truck, and um, it was carbon monoxide poisoning is what killed him. I mean, we never really talk about it because we don't want to, I'm assuming, upset each other about it. It was just a point where I gained a lot of weight. Food was my way. It seemed like I feel better when I eat food. 
You know, if I'm having a bad day or if I'm sad about something, I eat and I feel better. Mm -hmm. You know, which now I've learned that I can't do that. Because you weren't able to discuss it, you don't feel that that was part of the reason why you gained so much weight because you were stuffing all those feelings. And... Yeah, I know I was stuffing those feelings. I would go eat instead of go cry in front of somebody. And probably your mom would have been the one you'd want to do that with. I don't want to upset her. If I am feeling sad about missing my dad, you know, I don't want to call my mom and say, you know, hey, I'm feeling bad today, or... Would that, that upset you? Exactly. I mean, just talking about sad stuff upsets anybody. She's talked to me about other things, I mean... If Sally can get her feelings out with her mother about her father's suicide, I think it can be a really healing moment for both of them. But it's obvious that Sally's mom isn't ready to go there. So Sally's going to have to deal with this issue on her own. Come on, Mom. I'm coming. Go, 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 go! In the past, I was always watching from a distance. And today, I'm really excited to be able to actually do something active with him. Work the leg muscles. What's going to be really important is for me to keep exercise fun. Whoop, whoop, look at me on a bike. <laughs> you know, I don't want him to hate it. Um, so I want to keep it fun and exciting for him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Catch me, catch me, catch me. You want to tell your dad you rode a bike? Yep. When we go home, we will definitely be getting some bikes. Good job. It's so awesome. You like it? Yeah. It is hard to say goodbye. <laughs> I don't miss both of them a lot. I hate to leave because I hate to have to say goodbye to him, but I can't wait. He's going to look better than he ever has as an adult, you know, since he's been a teenager. You know, we're going to see the real Chad emerge. <laughs> it's only a few months. Come here. It's going to be OK. I know. I know. I know. It's hard. I love you. I love you too, babe. I'm so glad I got to see you. Mm. You're going to be okay. I know. Seeing them definitely gave me an extra push to stay focused and remember what I'm here for. It's just kind of a good kind of motivation for the next phase of this whole journey that I'm on. It wasn't long enough. I'm very thankful that I got to see him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you cry, it was really hard, really hard. I wish he could have stayed with me. It's hard, but it's totally going to be worth it in the long run. If they could see such a difference in three months, what is it going to be like at the end of six months? Every year on the island, there's a beach bum triathlon, which consists of a 500-meter swim, six-mile bike ride, and a 5K run. For Chad and Sally to really step it up and want to participate in the triathlon by themselves was a major accomplishment. We're working out hard and focused every day, and we're going to be doing it hard till we're done. I did a bunch of swimming laps in the pool yesterday. And that was killer. I had no idea how exhausting swimming is. Touch your shirt to the tire. Go. There it is. Touch it. Good work. Good work. Good job. My feet are sore. My back is sore. My sides are sore. I'm really, really, really tired. Hopefully I won't pass out today. It's race morning. I'm excited, a little nauseous. Stomach is a little, ups you know, <laughs> nervous, I guess. I just have so much energy and adrenaline towards being able to accomplish this, so I'm really excited. Are we ready? Yeah. 
I'm probably the first 350 pound woman that's ever done this triathlon. So if I finish, I will be proud of myself. I started off swimming through a school of jellyfish and getting stung multiple times. It is easily gonna be the most physically demanding thing I have ever done in my life. The waves was probably the biggest thing because when you come up for a breath, you got a wave hitting you in the face. I was so happy to be back on land. The next part was getting on my bike and riding six miles across the beach. I'm already feeling sore and tired, but the energy from everybody around me just cheering me on is like adrenaline to my system. Riding a bike through the sand is not the easiest thing to do. It was really difficult and very tiring. And heading into the 5K, I am excited because I'm in the last leg of this triathlon, but my body is exhausted. So I'm starting the run part of the triathlon, and Chad was way in front of me. I mean, I didn't even have him anywhere in sight. Sally kicked and when it came to that final stretch of the 5K, she blazed past me. I just pushed. I didn't stop. I just ran until I crossed the finish line. My body was dying, and I really, really had a push to be able to finish. Awesome job, you guys. Great job. Here you go. Never believed that I would be doing a triathlon when I came here. I wanted to do it in two and a half hours. I finished in under two hours, and I'm really, really proud of myself. I am a triathlete now. And how many, four, you know, over 400 pound people can be able to say that they're a triathlete? I'm one of them. I love you. Hey, John, this is Chad, how you doing? Wow, well, surprise, hey. So how have you been? I'm just starting to develop a kind of a relationship with my father and we're you know, just starting to really kind of talk and get to know each other. I'm coming to the end of my stay here and I'll be proposing to Lena um, when I get home. Lost a significant amount of weight and so I'm feeling really good and just wanted to give you a call. Sounds and... good. Thank you. Sounds awesome. Well, thank you. I am both proud of you. Thank you. I know so many people are, and I know you hear it all the time, but you have you have achieved something that is just on and beyond capabilities of what people would believe in their own self. I would not reconnect with him, you know, at, at, while he was still in an unhealthy place in his life. And the truth is, he has changed a lot, and he isn't the man that he was 25 years ago. And I'm just getting kind of learning what all that looks like now. I'm still battling the weight, and uh, that's going to be my new plan. So awesome. Once you get out, you know I'm going to be calling you. Yeah. Saying, okay, what do I got to do? Absolutely, absolutely. I've learned a lot, so that'll be a good conversation. I look forward to hearing all about it. Going into my final way, and I'm feeling really good. Regardless of what the scale says, I am satisfied with what I've been able to accomplish because I've gotten my health back, I've gotten my strength back, I've gotten my mind back, and I have gotten my life back. Chad, hey. morning, buddy. You ready for the final weigh-in? Very ready. Are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm feeling good, good and ready. Step on up there. All righty. Your starting weight is 509. Three sixty-eight point four. Okay. Ooh. Good job. Let me do some math. So that gives us a total one hundred and forty point six pounds. Chad, yeah, great oh, job, God. man. Thank Last you so way much. in. That's awesome. Woo! Way to go. Thank Good you work. Very much. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Great job. For the first time in my life, I feel very proud with what I've been able to accomplish in my health in an area that I felt defeated for so long. So, it's been amazing.
Going into my final weigh-in, I can't believe that this is the final one. You know, I, this is the last time I'll weigh in here. Next week, I'll be home, and I'll be holding myself accountable. Morning, Sally. Good How morning. are you this morning, beautiful? I'm good. Everything's How are you? good? Yeah. Looking great. Thank it's you. your last weigh-in. Are you excited? I am. All right, whenever you're ready, you can step up there. Your starting weight is 443.4. Three o six point eight. Good. Let me do some math. One thirty six point six in total. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Good job. Thank That's you. That's excellent. Walking out of here, one hundred and thirty six pounds lighter. I am proud of myself. Um, I am happy with what I've done. Thanks, Adam. Keep it up. I put in a lot of hard work to to get that. Six months, it's flown by. I can't believe I'm leaving already. On my first day here, Amber got me and Chad and said, come on, we're going to go for a walk. It seemed like forever to this yes. <laughs> I was so out of shape, so overweight. I didn't think I was going to make it. I mean, and looking back now, on a mile, that's nothing. I mean, you know, I run three miles, and it's nothing to it. To know what I'm going home as versus what I left as, it's been totally worth it. It is my last day here. I'm packing my clothes, and I realize today that I have dropped a lot of sizes. My shirts have gone from an 8X to a 2X. My pants have gone from a 76 to, like, a 56. I'm going home happy and proud of myself for the first time with my life, with my body. Thank you. Be for good. Be healthy. Stay in touch. I am so excited about going home. It was nice being your partner. It was a pleasure. Take care and keep up the good work. I'm back home in Atlanta, and I'm at a park near my house. And today, I'm going to be proposing to Lena. Definitely excited for Lena to be able to kind of see me at the best I've ever looked, you know, and being able to have a nice suit and being able to feel good. She has no idea what's going to be happening. I round the corner, and there he is. And he's looking phenomenal. I was just blown away. I mean, it was just more than I had ever expected. <laughs> my love, my darling, would you marry me? Oh, my gosh. Yes. I love you. I love you, too. Mm. Woo. This is beautiful. Oh. Wow. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Woo. I feel um, thrilled. Thrilled. Look at this thing. It's it's beautiful. I am so happy. Cheers. You look absolutely phenomenal. Welcome home. Thank you. It's good to be home. Well, next up, we are going to be going to see my friends and family for the first time in six months. And I am very excited to be able to show them the work and be able to celebrate kind of this momentous occasion. Are y'all ready to see Chad? Not seeing him for six months, he was just, he's a knockout. <laughs> I couldn't believe it was him, he almost looked so healthy. It's beyond words how proud I am of him. Oh, I cried again. You cried. To see him, <laughs> not only look so great, but to be so strong and just to see what his goals are now and, and where he's going now, and it's beyond anything I could have ever dreamed of. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Excited, I'm nervous, I'm ready to see my son, my family. Doing things that I did not think six months ago that I would ever be doing. 
I hope everybody notices the change that I've made. I've worked really hard, and I just want everybody to be really proud of me. Sally, you are beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I haven't seen my sister in six months. I just can't wait to see how she looks and uh, give her a big old hug and a big old kiss and just tell her how proud we are of her. Good evening. It means a great deal for me right now to be here with Sally. Getting ready with her, going to the salon today, spending all the time helping her get in her dress is just kind of like that final hurrah for her. So it's very special for me to be here. My name is Amber and I am the fitness specialist at Hilton Head Health. So I have been with Sally on her journey for the past six months. Without further ado, let's bring out our inspirational lady. It took every ounce of energy for me not to cry when I seen her come out on that stage. My mom looks really great. I think she looks great. I'm very proud of her. Brought tears to my eyes to see such a big change. For Sally's 30th birthday and a little gift to Sam too, we have a surprise for both of them. Here they are. I'm super excited about our bikes. I can't wait. I want to get Sam on that bike. I hope he's ready, because I'm riding 20-mile loops. So uh, we'll start him slow, but we're going to work up and start riding those bikes quite a bit. Thank you. Don't God, you look great. I'm not stopping here. I have, you know, 100 more pounds to lose. My mommy. <laughs> oh. I'm going to take what I've learned. I'm going to move forward. Sam's life is going to be changed now that I'm home. This is just the beginning for me.